Nowadays, we know that objects fall at the same acceleration regardless of their masses if the air resistance is negligible. And the question is how to remove the air resistance if we want to demonstrate the falling of two objects at exactly the same acceleration. This clip shows a supposedly clever method of eliminating the effect of air resistance, but can you detect any problem with this method? Here is the detailed procedure and explanation. And now I want to consider the way that two objects of quite different mass um, respond under the influence of the force of gravity. So I'm going to let the Earth pull on these two objects and let them fall. Now, if air friction is a problem, you can fix that in the following way. If you put the paper on top of the book and allow the book then to run interference for the piece of paper so that the air friction on the piece of paper is now insignificant, then you observe that both of the objects hit the ground at the same time. Whoa! Which is to say, both of the objects accelerate downward with exactly the same acceleration, which does not depend upon the mass, since they have quite different masses. But no! As the book falls, it sucks the paper along. We don't know whether the paper gains its speed due to the suction force or the pull from the gravity. To demonstrate this, I hang the paper so that it is free to move horizontally. When a book moves away from the paper, the paper got pulled along and has nothing to do with the gravity. Obviously, the suction force adds another variable and spoils the whole experiment. I hope my simple experiment has convinced you that the suction force complicates the dynamics and proves nothing about the nature of gravity. Thank you for watching. Like if you like.